But yeah, being single is hard, dude. It's actually hard. You know, but being single, the toughest thing about being single is not handling rejection. The toughest thing about being single is handling over-expressive couples. <laughs> because they tell you. And everywhere, these expressive couples, they have to tell the other person that they love them. Every, dude, I was watching MTV the other day. And even over there, they say, have you seen one corner? I love you, Anjali. We asked what Anjali ko pata na. I was watching the song Kabira. Kita mas gana hai. One guy sent a message. I feel lonely. Then die. <laughs> TV ka plug nika lonely dal. <laughs> ja. Dude, I swear to God, I got so pissed. I sent a message. Anjali, I'm standing outside. <laughs> Just to fuck around that one Anjali in the country. Would fuck for at least once she would have done this. Who the fuck is outside? Dude? <laughs> Even my username was Turkey Boy Rocks. <laughs> You love Anjali, I'm gonna scare the shit out of her. <laughs> and see, dude, I've been asking a lot of shows, okay? Does anyone over here pay attention to those messages? Nobody pays attention. That's why I have this thought. Don't you feel that is the best place for terrorists to exchange information? <laughs> like right under our noses. <laughs> I love you, Anjali. I miss you, Neha. Shivaj Nagar 3A, RDX. <laughs> Nobody will ever find out. <laughs> Imagine a 2611 attack happened like that. <laughs> Some dude in Bombay is watching 9x Simbindas. First message comes, Priya, I miss you. Next message, Kasab come to Taj back gate. <laughs> Kasab is like, no, already at the railway station. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> I'm telling you, being single is very hard. You know what? I'm single, but that the fault is not with women. Women, it's not your fault, okay? I totally take complete, like, full blame. But I do have one request, though. I do have. You know, now how a lot of women have been coming forward and saying, we can wear whatever the fuck we want to wear. Who the hell are you to judge? I'm like, of course, dude, 100%, with you on that. Except, this one thing. Leggings that match the color of your skin. Can we draw the line there? Freedom of choice? That fucking scam. Because I understand that you guys want to look pretty. But you need to understand, it's very confusing. Looks like a mirage of happiness. An illusion of joy. <laughs> like a kid we go, uh-huh, oh. So many times, dude, so many times I've been walking on the road and I'll be like, see this girl really far away. And I'll be like, she's wearing only a kurti? <laughs> is this the new Manish Malhotra designer wear? <laughs> Who is this progressive woman? And the moment she's walking closer, my heartbeat's increasing. <laughs> like, fuck, oh. When she comes close, this is my reaction. Oh. <laughs> and then I walk back that entire walk of shame. Chah, I thought that. <laughs> How many of you are Bangaloreans here? Give me a show. Bangaloreans? Six people. Uh, <laughs> that's generally the stereotype in Bangalore. <laughs> but I'm a Bangalorean. I've been here for like around 20 years. I love this city. But I have one issue with this city now. That all my friends' houses that I go to, I only see a foreign breed of dog. Have you noticed? All my friends' houses that I go. Like you've seen German Shepherd, Pitbull, Boxer, Labrador, Dad. And then I started thinking, what happened to our dogs? Hamare apne. Swadeshi kutto ka kya hua? And that's when I realized, guys, Indian dogs are losing their jobs to foreign dogs. These fucking immigrants. They're taking away our dogs' jobs. Think about it. 15 years back, whenever I used to play cricket and the ball used to go to neighbor's house, who was barking? Ramu. Today, it's Rocky the Rottweiler. <laughs> Have you seen a Rottweiler? Looks like a Doberman on steroids. <laughs> what do you have with pedigree protein or what? What the fuck? <laughs> like, shake it out. Oh. <laughs> that's what a Rottweiler... I'm scared. And that's why today, like, whenever my friends get a new puppy or something, I can't show them love. My friend got a pug for 25,000. 
Guys, Pug is not a dog. It's just a really obese cat. <laughs> Car filled with fuck all graphics. If you wrap a blanket around a pug, it looks like a jumbo shawarma. <laughs> and, and don't you guys feel that Ramu is way more qualified than a pug? He is, right? If two thieves enter your house, Ramu can take them down. But if you put a pug against two thieves, they'll just start playing football. A hey, pass! A <laughs> hey, pass! Oh, <laughs> window, they go! <laughs> That's why, have you noticed, every house that has a pug already has a security guard. The chor goes like, first pug got a pug. The pug got a And the pissing off part about this is, these are the people who will buy dogs like this and then they'll come out and complain. Why are there so many street dogs on the road? What is the municipality doing? My kids are not feeling safe. Do you know why there are so many street dogs on the road? It's because Ramu is fucking. Ramu was a working bachelor. You took away his job. Now he's just a horny bachelor. What do bachelors do all the time? So he's searching, do it. Oh, Gali Gali Gumra, Leela ki khoj mein. The moment he finds Leela, bam, Ram Leela. Ham do, hamare do so. I'm a huge football fan. Any football fan in the audience? I love that game. But I have one issue with that game these days. Like, have you noticed every time a game of football starts, players walk inside with a kid these days? Like, why, dude? <laughs> when I started watching football, you know how players were jumping, stretching, flexing their muscles? It used to look like a game was gonna start. Now they look like divorced fathers. <laughs> like, all 22 of them going, Iska custody mujhe kyu mila? Like, dude, they are, you know, when I started, footballers used to look like warriors, you know. Now they look like they're going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> like, I'm going to pay fees for the next month. I'm not going to play with the game. I'm going to play with the park. And all my friends have been complaining that football is no longer that aggressive game. It's like, what a fun game. And I genuinely feel it's because of these kids. Because imagine, just before you start the game, who do you see? The faces of 22 cute kids. Dude, that's like before a soldier enters into war, you show him an entire season of Bob the Builder. <laughs> Even he'll throw away the gun. I don't want to kill, I want to fix things. <laughs> I want a spanner. <laughs> have, you, like, have you seen WWF? Have you seen how Undertaker enters the ring? That blue lights, dead music, looks at the opponent and says, Fuck, I'm going to kill you. You're like, shit, dude, match is going to Now imagine if Undertaker walked in with a kid. I'm gonna kill you. But this is Aradhana. His papa is auto. His mother is a TV. Hai. You'll be like, just tell me where to make the donations. I, was, I don't want to watch this match anymore. And the game has changed, guys. I'm not even kidding. I was watching a game a couple of weeks back. This defender came and he pushed the forward. I thought the forward would get a little angry and all. He looked at the referee like he's his boyfriend. <laughs> Are you gonna let him treat me like this? I need to feel protected around you. <laughs> Show him a card. What yellow? You know red is my favorite color. <laughs> kept on doing that. Dude, I'll prove it to you the game has changed. Do you guys remember in 2006, FIFA World Cup, there was a player called Zindadin Dadan? Yeah? <laughs> Fucking yeah, FIFA World Cup finale. That guy didn't give a fuck. He just gave a headbutt and walked out. <laughs> like a boss. But now, there is a player called Luis Suarez. Who's biting other players? <laughs> Literally, game ke beach mein. If he doesn't like you, he comes and bites you. <laughs> Yaar, kaat na, bachcho ka kam hota hai. <laughs> you never see two adults in a bar get into an argument and go, ah. Oh. <laughs> and the worst thing is, I feel bad for the players who, the guy who got bitten by Luis Suarez. You know, because first of all, he played a two-hour match. <laughs> got bitten and then he has to go home and explain to his wife. <laughs> She is like, what is that? It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Who is that bitch? It's not a girl, it's a guy. That doesn't make it better. 